Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough of Tiny MCE. Now, if you want to play around with Tiny MCE for yourself, you can either go to our website and check out one of our demos, or sign up for a 14-day free trial on our pricing page to try out all of the capabilities that Tiny MCE has. Okay, let's get started. So, people use Tiny MCE in tons of different projects, like content management systems, learning management systems, email authoring tools, and tons more. It can be totally customized to your use case, whether you want basic rich text editing capability, a full featured editor, or an editor that you can customize and extend to your liking with over 400 APIs. What I've got in front of me right now is our full featured demo. It's showing all of the capabilities and features that Tiny MCE has to offer. Now, before we get into each feature, it's important to note that Tiny MC is available under four different plans. We have our community edition, which is available on GitHub or through our free cloud service, which has most of the basics that you'd expect in a rich text editor. Then we have our essentials plan, which focuses more on the productivity of your users, our professional plan, which really narrows in on compliance, and then our premium plan, which focuses on collaboration. Now, the stuff I'm going to show you in this walkthrough spans all of our different plans. If you want to find out what plan is right for you, go to our pricing page, which will show you all the details. Okay, so let's take a look at the editor. Along the top here, we have the menu bar, which is a great way to organize lots of features if you want your users to find them in an easy, predictable way. It's built in a similar way to how your users are used to finding things within their productivity apps. Next, we have the toolbar, which is where all the popular editing features are included. The toolbar is fully customizable, and you can even expand it to include additional buttons. So along the top here, we have the basic rich text editing features. We have undo, redo, bold, italic, underline, strike through, font settings. You can even define a custom styles list with styles according to your brand and the content that your users are going to be creating, alignment options, indentation, and more. You can also do numbered lists and bullets, and even offer your users the option to specify their style. With checklists, you can let your users add checklists to your content like this. You can give your users the ability to specify font color, font highlight, text transforms. You can use permanent pen and even format painter to apply one text formatting to another set of text. For longer content, you can add page breaks, and to let your users express themselves a bit more, you can let them add special characters or emojis. You can enable full screen mode, which will immerse your users in their editing experience. You can let users preview the content and even print it from their browser. Now let's talk about media. Your users can add images and even edit them using advanced image editing to make sure that their images fit their text. They can crop them, resize them, rotate them, and adjust things like brightness and contrast if your users want to add content from other sites like Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook, they can include links to that content and it'll automatically be embedded in their content. Of course, if you have some predefined content that you want your users to be able to add, you can use the templates functionality and let them insert pre-populated content. Now, if your users are creating long form content, you can add page anchors. It's super easy. All they have to do is insert an anchor and then go somewhere else in the document, add a link, and choose that anchor from the dropdown. And if you want to include code snippets for your users, you just paste the code in there, choose the language that it's written in, and voila, there it is. Now, lastly, Tiny MCE has a really powerful tables functionality. You can add, remove rows, add, remove columns. You can sort your content with either basic sorting or advanced sorting, and even add automatic row numbers. Now, there's a couple features that are really helpful for content administrators or power users who need advanced editing capabilities within the rich text editor. For example, if one of your power users wants to show blocks, it'll help them visualize where their content is and what HTML elements they're within. And then if you have content administrators that know HTML, they can go in and edit some of your content creators code to really fine tune and tweak it to how it should be before it's published. If you've ever had to copy content from Microsoft Word or Google Docs into a web browser, you've probably experienced the pain of trying to preserve the formatting as it copies over. Formatting gets messed up, the HTML gets garbled, and it's just generally not a pleasant experience. And that's why we created PowerPaste, which takes content from these productivity apps and pastes them into Tiny MCE in a clean, consistent, and reliable way. I'll show you a quick demo of how this works. 
Okay, so right here I've got a fairly complicated Microsoft Word document with some tables with different borders being different colored, emojis, different alignments, and images. So let's see what happens when I copy all this over. It asked me if I want to remove the formatting or keep it. In this case, I'll keep it. And boom, there it is. It's even preserved the page anchor that was in the Word document. Okay, so moving on to some of our compliance features. First off, spell checker. Tiny MCE has a built-in spell checker or a premium spell checker pro. Spell checker pro can check against a whole suite of professionally translated languages and even let you add your own vocabulary. This is particularly important if you have brand terms or scientific terms that you don't want the spell checker to falsely pick up. Next up, there's accessibility checker. Accessibility is huge, not just for making your content accessible, but also for complying with jurisdictional regulations and avoiding fines. All your users have to do is click on the accessibility checker menu and it'll highlight all the issues and provide a fix. And finally, there's link checker. So if your users accidentally link to a page that doesn't exist, link checker will highlight that link so they know to fix it. Okay, so moving on to some of the collaborative features of TinyMCE. TinyMCE has the mentions feature, which allows your users to mention other users within the content creation process. There's also comments, which lets your users go back and forth and discuss the content they're creating. And finally, TinyMCE has a real-time collaboration plugin, which lets your users edit content in real time. Okay, so that's just a brief tour of TinyMCE. There's tons more features to explore. So I'd really encourage you to check out the demos on our website and sign up for a 14-day free trial of our premium features to see the full capabilities of TinyMCE. Of course, if you need any help getting started, there's always the docs. And if you do sign up for one of those trials or one of our paid plans, you get two free support tickets to use to get up and running. Okay, that's it for the tour. If you have any questions, post them in the comments in the video. Otherwise, head over to tiny.cloud and give TinyMCE a spin.